Imagine finding a clay pot in the desert. You dig deeper. Inside, you see a copper tube and an iron rod. This is what happened near Baghdad in 1936. This is the Baghdad battery. It is a collection of ancient artifacts. They date back thousands of years. Their purpose remains a mystery. Were they used to generate electricity? Or did they serve another more symbolic role? The Baghdad battery continues to fascinate and puzzle us. It reminds us of the ingenuity of the past. The Baghdad battery takes us back to ancient Mesopotamia, a land rich in history and mystery. This region was the cradle of civilization where the first cities and empires emerged, laying the foundation for human progress. The battery is dated to the Parthian or Sasanian periods, two significant eras in Mesopotamian history. These empires ruled Mesopotamia from around 250 BC to 650 AD, shaping the region's culture and politics. They were known for their advances in mathematics, astronomy and art, contributing significantly to human knowledge and creativity. The Parthians were skilled warriors and horsemen, renowned for their cavalry tactics and military prowess. They challenged the Roman Empire for centuries, engaging in numerous battles and conflicts that shaped the ancient world. The Sasanian Empire was known for its beautiful silverwork and its complex bureaucracy, which managed a vast and diverse empire. This era was a time of great intellectual and cultural ferment, with scholars and artists making significant contributions to various fields. It is within this context that we must consider the Baghdad Battery, a fascinating artifact that hints at ancient technological capabilities. It is a product of a sophisticated society, reflecting the ingenuity and complexity of the people who created it. In the 1930s, Wilhelm Koenig, a German archaeologist, examined the battery. He proposed a shocking idea. He believed it might have been an ancient galvanic cell. A galvanic cell is a device that produces electricity. Koenig argued that the battery's components, when filled with an acidic liquid like vinegar, could generate a small electric current. This theory caused a stir. Could ancient people have harnessed electricity? The evidence is scant. No wires or electrical devices from that era have been found. Many archaeologists remain skeptical. They argue that the battery's purpose was likely more mundane. Section 4, Sacred Vessels Holding Secrets of the Past. An alternative theory suggests the Baghdad battery had a different purpose altogether. Some experts believe it may have been a storage vessel for sacred scrolls. The copper tube could have held delicate papyrus or parchment. The iron rod might have been used to seal the container. This theory aligns with the cultural practices of the time. The Parthians and Sasanians placed great importance on religious rituals. They often used elaborate vessels to store sacred objects. This theory offers a plausible explanation for the battery's design. Section 5. Echoes of the battery, clues in the clay. In this section, we delve into the mysteries hidden within ancient clay pots. Adding to the intrigue, similar clay pots have been found at other archaeological sites in Iraq, each one telling a story of its own. These pots, discovered in Seleucia, also date back to the Parthian or Sasanian period, offering a glimpse into the past. They share a similar structure with the Baghdad battery, a fascinating artifact that has puzzled historians for years. These findings suggest that these objects were not unique, but part of a broader tradition. They may have served a common purpose, possibly related to ancient technologies. Some researchers speculate that these pots were used for electroplating, a sophisticated technique for the time. Electroplating is a process that uses electricity to coat objects with a thin layer of metal, enhancing their appearance and durability. This technique was known in ancient Mesopotamia, showcasing their advanced understanding of electricity. It was used to decorate jewelry and other artifacts, adding a touch of elegance and sophistication to everyday items. Section six, a puzzle for the ages, the battery's legacy. The Baghdad battery remains an enigma, a relic from a time long past. Its true purpose is still a matter of debate among scholars and enthusiasts alike. Was it a sophisticated electrical device centuries ahead of its time? possibly used for electroplating or some other unknown purpose? Or was it a simple but elegant container for sacred objects, perhaps used in religious or ceremonial contexts? We may never know for sure, as the evidence is sparse and interpretations vary. 
The battery's significance lies in the questions it raises, prompting us to think deeply about the past. It reminds us that the past is full of mysteries waiting to be uncovered and understood. It challenges us to reconsider our understanding of ancient cultures and their technological capabilities. The Baghdad battery is a testament to the ingenuity and creativity of our ancestors, showcasing their ability to innovate.